hello all you beautiful people it is tuesday it is also my rest day so today is going to be focused on grocery haul and meal prepping so i do like to utilize my rest days for this just because if you meal prep on a day that you're busy you're most likely not going to do it or you don't want to do it so I stick to my rest days and then I will get my grocery list plan, I will go grocery shopping, and I will meal prep for the whole week. So stay tuned and I will take you guys throughout my day. I go grocery shopping I like to buy things fresh so you didn't really see me in the aisles a whole lot there are just a lot of hidden ingredients in packaged food so I don't tend to buy packaged food a lot All right, every time all right guys, let's look at the good stuff. So we have got some lettuce here. Um, I'm gonna put lettuce with my tilapia tacos. I have pineapple here to go in my smoothies. Also spinach to go in my smoothies. I have spiralized zucchini. I have some fresh salsa here to go with the tilapia. Got some red potatoes here for a side. I have avocado for my smoothie. I have some limes here for the tacos. Kiwi for my smoothies. Uh, butter. Greek yogurt, um, I use this in place of sour cream, so I really like the Greek yogurt with the salsa mixed together. We have some eggs here, we need a lot of eggs, we eat a lot of eggs, and some chicken breasts, some bacon for that good fat, and some milk. So what I'm going to be prepping today is some honey garlic chicken, some roasted potatoes, um, some parmesan zucchini, some lime tilapia. I always write a list. I write down what I need to prep, um, what it entails, if it's on the oven, if it's on the stove. This just keeps me organized and keeps things flowing so I don't have to stop. Like, For example, my chicken will be cooked at 3 50 and my tilapia will be cooked at 375 so this kind of helps me think okay so I will cook the chicken first then turn up the oven and then do the tilapia and then the potatoes afterwards so these are just little things that will help everything run a little bit more smoothly first I get everything out and ready. So this is any baking utilities that I'll need. I have all my pans set up here. I've got a pan for my potatoes. I've got the bowl that I will put the marinade in. Baking dish for my tilapia. A baking dish for my chicken. And then a bowl for that marinade. I will put all the recipes in the description box, so don't worry. So first I'm going to make the glaze.
chicken is still in the oven, so I'm going to go ahead, peel, and cube the potatoes to get them ready for when they need to be baked. and then that way the last thing you need to do is just take the potatoes out and you are finished. Okay, so I just took them out and I put them over to the other side and I'll put them in for maybe another five to ten minutes. So I've got everything pretty well in containers here. It's cooling and then it will be ready to store shortly. I use a lot of spices, I use a lot of like sauces and stuff like that. I personally do not like to eat plain meat, uh, plain vegetables. I just find that's not very realistic. For me personally, I like uh, flavor with my food. It's easier for me to stick to a diet if I actually enjoy the taste, if I enjoy what I'm eating. Literally the whole meal prepping, including the grocery haul, took me about, I'd say about four hours, which is pretty good. You can, if it works better for you, do the grocery shopping separately and then meal prep the day after. So it's absolutely achievable. Meal prep is not impossible, you guys. It takes it took me a while to get, get into everything and kind of know like when to cook this, when, and what to get out. The number one thing is just to make sure you're organized, make sure you have everything you need, all the um, pans, the baking dishes ready to go. It will totally save time. And like I said, uh, the meal prepping portion alone took me about an hour and a half 
to two hours. I mean, guys, that's two hours out of your entire week. Two hours spent and you can have meals and stuff in your fridge ready to grab and go throughout the whole week. Really, I push meal prepping and I highly recommend it because it does keep you on track. It helps you guys uh, stick with your goals, stick with your nutrition, and then you have no excuse to go and eat out and to not eat the healthy food that's in your fridge. So I hope that you guys can take some tips and tricks from this meal prepping and I hope you guys have an awesome rest of your day. My first vlog just went live. It's officially public, it's live, you can go watch it right now. I can't even describe the feeling, like I can't, like it's still surreal, it feels like, I, know, I can't describe it, but I'm so, so excited, I hope you guys like it's it. still a learning curve, so they will only get better. Thank you so, so much for your support, all the messages and the good wishes and everything. You guys, you guys are so, so close to my heart and I appreciate you guys so much.